dear students let us consider one more example to clarify a few more points about structural equations and the derivation of reduced form equations let us consider the structural equation in a closed economy as ct is equal to a0 plus a1 yt plus <coughs> u1 it is equal to b0 plus b1 yt plus b2 yt minus 1 plus u2 yt is equal to ct plus it plus gt a three sector economy closed economy <coughs> consumption is a function of income investment depends on this year's income and last year's income is a kind of acceleration model of investment because yt yt minus 1 why it is taken like this will be discussed later actually we can write it as say, beta 1 yt minus yt minus 1 that is delta yt but that involve an additional issue that is why it is written like this and this is the familiar equilibrium condition now as you can see this is a structural model explaining the structure of interrelationship between variables with the three endogenous variables ct it and yt and one endogenous and two endogenous variables y sorry predetermined variables yt minus 1 and gt the endogenous variables are ct it and yt predetermined variables are yt minus 1 and gt as we have described earlier yt minus 1 is not exogenous it is predetermined now let us substitute the value of ct and it in yt you will get a yt as equal to a0 plus a1 yt plus u1 plus b0 plus b1 yt plus b2 yt minus 1 plus ut plus gt it and yt is equal to you collect the terms of yt here yt here to the left and you will get it as a0 by a0 i collect both constants here a0 plus b0 this is 1 minus a1 minus b1 plus then as you can see b2 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 yt minus 1 plus i write a gt 1 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 gt plus there is a u1 here u2 here so u1 plus u2 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 and let me write this reduced form equation as yt is equal to pi 0 plus pi 1 yt minus 1 plus pi 2 gt plus wt plus wt yt is equal to pi 0 plus pi 1 yt minus 1 plus pi 2 gt plus w remember this in this model two predetermined variables are yt minus 1 and gt so naturally in the reduced form equations each endogenous variable is a function of all the predetermined variables in the model and to derive the reduced form equations for it and yt we have to substitute 
this yt this yt in the consumption function and also in the investment function if you substitute this directly it will be very difficult because you have to do a lot of uh, substitutions etc to arrive at the reduced form equations an easy way is substitute this equation in this and also this let me first write what are these reduced form equations and I will explain how it is actually derived. I write CT as equal to pi 3 plus pi 4 yt minus 1 plus pi 5 gt plus cvt and it is equal to pi 6 plus pi 7 y t minus 1 plus pi 8 gt plus epsilon t. These are the reduced for equations. And as you can see, each endogenous variable in the reduced form equations is a function of all the predetermined variables. And this point should be remembered always. If you write the reduced form equations, in the reduced form equations, each endogenous variable is a function of all the predetermined variables. Now, let me explain how we derive these equations easily. Now, as yt is this, I substitute the value in the CT, A0 plus A1, pi0 plus pi1, yt minus 1 plus pi2 gt plus wt plus u1. Expanding this, I will get A0 plus A1 pi0 plus a1 pi1 yt minus 1 plus a1 pi2 gt plus a1 wt plus u1. Now this quantity is written here as pi3. You can verify it. a1 pi1 is pi4. a1 pi2 is pi5. And uh, you can, our, our aim is to estimate A0, A1, B0, B1, B2, etc. Once uh, we estimate the pi's, it is possible to obtain A1, A2, etc. That is a different issue we will discuss later. So we have what is known as the reduced form equation for CT. Now, what is the reduced form equation for IT? IT is equal to b0 plus b1 pi0 plus pi1 yt minus 1 plus pi2 gt plus wt plus b2 yt minus 1 plus u2 u2 that can be written as b0 plus b1 pi0 plus b1 pi1 there is a yt minus 1 here also so plus b2 yt minus 1 plus b1 pi2 gt plus b1 wt plus u2 now this is pi6 and this is pi7 and this is pi8 Epsilon t is given by the error time. This is more easy to derive. If you substitute the original yt, it will take a lot of time. And ensure that when you derive the reduced form equations, always remember this, each endogenous variable in the reduced form equations is a function of all the predetermined variables and stochastic error time. That is very important. In the structural equations, an endogenous variable may be a function of other endogenous variables 
a function of other predetermined variables or a function of both anything is possible we cannot make a such a statement but in the context of reduced form equations the statement is correct now as you can see from this derivation in the structural model each structural parameter gives us the direct effect of each variable on the concerned dependent variable so b a1 shows the effect of it on ct and b1 it on it b2 it on it minus 1 etc etc only the structural parameters will be only the direct effect the direct effect on the other hand the reduced form coefficients give us both the direct and indirect effects after taking into account all the interrelationship between variables in the structural model after taking into account all the interrelationship between variables in the structural model as an example to this so structural parameters measure only the direct effects reduced form coefficients measure both the direct and indirect after taking into effect all the effects for example the direct effect of of uh, say, uh, of on i is b1 uh, b2 etc a1 b1 b2 etc indirect effect after considering all the relationships as an example in this model pi 7 is equal to b2 into 1 minus a1 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 you can verify this pi 7 is equal to and this can be um, pi 7 is equal to both so, and this can be written as equal to b2 into 1 plus b1 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 is equal to b2 plus b2 b1 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 that means total effect consists of the direct effect b2 and also the indirect effects b2 into b1 by 1 minus a1 minus b1 so the point is we have a structural equation model we cannot apply OLS to estimate the parameters of any of these equations because yt will be correlated with u1 yt will be correlated with u2 so we derive the reduced form equations and we can apply OLS to all these equations because in these equations in the right hand side we have only struck only predetermined variables so the question is once we estimate the reduced form coefficients whether it is possible to retrieve the structural parameters suppose that from this reduced form coefficients we can retrieve a0 and a1 then we will say that this equation is identified if b0 b1 and b2 can be retrieved we say that this equation is identified like that and we say that a structural equation model is identified if and only if all the equations are identified all the equations are identified so when you derive reduced form equations from structural equations always keep this point in mind you can solve your own problems a lot of worked out problems are given in the textbooks on economics now we are ready to see the problem of identification in detail we have reduced i mean we have defined the structural model the reduced form model now we are ready to tackle the problem of identification in detail